Hello, my friend, Marwan Hussein here. And in this video, I want to share with you this beautiful add-on. It's a free add-on, it's called Lily. Let's see how can we use it. Or let's explain this uh, add-on first. This add-on, it's help you to put your vehicle or your car inside an HDR environment and it will fix the ground for you. If I go to the material preview, as you can see, this Jeep Gladiator is perfectly stick on the ground without any problem. So let's see how can we uh, install this add-on and where to find it and how can we use it. And I guess we would like to mention this Jeep Gladiator, it's one of my courses and this video is one of the uh, videos uh, of the Jeep Gladiator. I will publish this course very soon. In the description, I will leave a link to download the Lily add-on, so you'll find it right there. After you download it, just go to the Edit and then Preferences, and go to the add-on section. And here you have the Install button, just open it and go to the where you download the Lily file, and from there you can, uh, you can install it. For me, I have it right here, just click on it, and then hit install add-on and when you do that just search for the add-on and just open this arrow because here I want to activate the use ground HDRI because if you didn't activate this option you will not get a result like this so activate this option is very important and after that you can save preferences and you can exit from here All right, now the question is, how can I download the HDR image? You can go to the world properties and just open the Lily surface. And from here, you can use this button right here to jump directly to the HDRI Haven. HDRI Haven, it's a website for 3D models, textures, and HDRI images. It's a very important website if you are a 3D artist. So just hit this button to jump to the uh, HDRI Haven. All right, here you have a lot of HDRI images. You can browse them and search for them. For me, I want a specific HDRI image. It's called, as I remember, this kid. Yeah, this one right here. This kid pan. Just open it and then just take the link, right click and copy the link and then go back to Blender. All right, now we are back here to Blender. After that, you can use this button, Import World, and it will tell you that you should paste the URL that we just copied right here, and then hit OK. After that, you will jump to the section. It will tell you that you should, the resolution that you would like. Just open it and download the XCR. For me, I have the 6K already downloaded. Just hit 6K or 8K. You can download any one of these and then hit OK. Just give it a bit of time to be downloaded. And then that's it. Automatically, the HDRI image will be installed right here. And after that, you can hit Z to go to the material review and you will find it. All right, so now we have the HDRI image. What's the next step? After that, you can split the view to two like that and switch the editor type to shader editor because I want to control the HDR image if that's important. I will change the, uh, the type from object to world so I can see the HDR image. And now I have it right here. For me, I have two images right here. So don't worry about this one. Okay, so these are the controls for uh, the HDR images with the Lily Surface add-on. I just added this node right here in the middle so I can change the contrast. And I added this image, so don't worry about these two nodes. From the Z, you can rotate the environment, as you can see here. And here we have the size, if you want to change the size. So. The size, you can change it from here, or you can scale your vehicle 
now you have two options to do that as you can see now I can scale it so just keep that in mind all right after doing that let's minimize this I want to explain something if I zoom back like that as you can see we have a distortion so what this lily do is the lily surface add-on will create a virtual dome like this one for example let's create a sphere right here and let's tap and I will for example I will delete these faces or hit F to make them one face the lily surface will create something like that and it will apply the environment or the texture on this dome and because of the sharp egg that we have right here we got this stretch as you can see so this is the line and that's something bad to avoid something like that you should put a camera an angle like this or I got nice simple trick I can create a circle here let's go to the mesh and choose circle and I will change the vertices for example to 200 and I will scale the circle make it big like that make it big and I will tap to go to the edit mode and select all the vertices of the circle and I will hit E to the Z to extrude it like that I'm going to use this <clears throat> as a wall to uh, hide that seam or that sharp edge now if you look at the vehicle from this angle you can't see the sharp edge it's disappeared behind this wall after creating this wall you should give it a material so uh, I will move this window right here and I will change this to UV editor I will tap to add one seam right here and one seam right here I can open this to four pieces after you select these edges just hit right click and choose mark seam to mark these selected edges as a seam so we can unwrap this circle and hit H select all the faces and go to the UV and hit unwrap and now we have the UV unwrapped right here so after doing that switch to the shader editor and uh, change this to the object with this circle selected hit new to add a new material and now you can control the color you can control a lot of things to blend it with the ground if you want to get better results add a concrete texture right here to make it looks better and realistic for example I can use one of these images let's take this one and I will import it right here and I will apply the base color to the base color and now we have a texture applied it's big I just want to scale it I will grab the node and hit Control T and node wrangler will create the coordinate and mapping if node wrangler add-on not activated you can activate from the preferences just search for WR node wrangler and activate it so you can activate these shortcuts and you can add a value right here plug the value here to the scale so we can control the scale and change the scale and make it small like that now the texture is makes sense after doing that you can change the color shift a to add and you can add a curve rgb just search for curve plug it right here take this point down to make it dark like that and now it's almost blended and the result looks nice if you want to add extra stuff to the circle you can do that like for example adding one edge right here or maybe two and push one of these faces back if you like you can do a lot of stuff it's something optional now after all of that one important step we should do if I switch to cycle if I render it make sure that the render switch to cycle let's give this a bit of time come on all right as you can see we don't have any shadow right here underneath the vehicle okay to solve that I can add a surface underneath the vehicle I will hit shift A to add and I will add plane and just scale it like that make it big and I like to make it round so you can use circle or you can tap and go to the vertices hit one and just hit control B to bevel these sorry control shift B to bevel these vertices like this and make it round tap out and scale this 
All right. By the way, it's not so quite necessary to make it that big, but it's okay. And after doing that, you could go to the, let's zoom in here, right? And let's uh, switch to render. You can uh, go to the properties. Let's see, where is it? Uh, yeah, object properties and here we have uh, the shading story yeah under the visibility right here we have the shadow catcher if you select this plan and hit shadow catcher if you activate it you will get this amazing result but as you can see we have this white color right here on the tire and the result is not beautiful and not here on the surface as well you can turn off the glossy and you can i think you can turn off the diffuse i guess let's see what the difference is you can keep it on it's okay but if you turn this the camera off you will lose it so just turn off the glossy and that will be it now the result is ready and very nice if you have any problem uh, for example if you select the ground and the the plane selected you can go to the object properties and just scroll down to the viewport display and change this to bounding and now if you click on the ground you can't uh, reach it but if you zoom back you can uh, you can find it right here so it's just extra tip maybe uh, it's useful for you and after doing all, all of that just add your camera I already have a camera is zero to jump to the camera view and then you can take your shot so i will render this and i will be back all right now the render is finished i have just small problem i have small gap between the tire and the ground and we should fill it we can take the vehicle down or we can take the ground up just a tiny bit so let's do that together okay let's fix that let's go to the front go to solid or before you go to front just select the ground and go to the solid or to the right so this is the plane i will hit key to the z and i will move this underneath the tires like that okay now let's see the results all right i can't see the plane because it's bounding you can change this to texture temporarily select the ground and change this to texture so we can see all right i will move this down just a tiny bit and that's all it okay that's very cool now i will select the ground and change this back to bounce and go to the camera and i will render this again all right now the render is finished if you want to make some post processing you can uh Sublet this view to two and change this to the compositor and change this view to maybe um, image editor on the compositor just hit use notes and now we have the final uh, render and here just uh, choose the final result it should be right here just search for render result maybe where is it render result yeah it's right here okay now if you put any notes between this one and this one you will see some change here for example if i want to make this a little bit contrast i can search for curve and add the curve right here and if i sorry not time curve sorry rgb curve this one like this right here and i will take this down just a tiny bit so you can see whatever thing i am doing here that will affect the result okay yeah something like that and here we have a lot of uh filters to use for example go go to the color section and add a color correction or maybe color balance here if you want to change 
the shadow make it a little bit darker you can do that you can change the color of the shadow if you like to blue to whatever thing you need here here we have the mid-tone here we have the highlights if you want to increase this a tiny bit and you can see before and after if you hit m to mute you can see before and after the effect and when you complete it, you can go to the image and save as and save it this is my youtube channel if you find this channel useful you can subscribe and here you can go to my website there i have a lot of courses and uh, i have free uh, courses to watch just go to the school section here we have the paid courses you can check them all and here we have the free uh, materials let's go here and let's see them I have this one full course it's for free and this one and this one and uh, this one as well so check these free courses and I hope they are uh, useful for you all right then so that's it for this video my name is Marwan Hussain and see you in a future tutorials